everybody, it's Fem Trooper, and I am back with my honorable mentions video of amazing movies I saw in 2014 that just didn't make my top 10 list. I'm going to mention that these are in no order at all. They're just awesome movies that happen to be 2014 releases. Let's start with Chef. Awesome movie, really good acting, a total surprise, a really fun food movie, tons of heart, a really, really good movie. Um, got great reviews. I definitely recommend it. It was just, you know, it was one of those... You just kind of went like, yeah, like, you. I don't know. It was just a really good one. I Go see, go and watch Chef. The other food movie that I saw that I really enjoyed was 100 Foot Journey. Um, you know, a little bit more of the, the oh, kind of cheese factor, but it, it was actually really good. Helen Mirren was awesome. Her, you know, she played a French lady. I thought she was really excellent in it. And it was just overall a really cute movie that, you know, if you're not, you just want something fun, 100 Foot Journey is definitely worth it. A movie that I saw that was a foreign film that I really, really enjoyed of 2014 was Miss Granny from South Korea. This movie was awesome. It was basically the opposite of Big, so ki kind of like Seventeen again, I guess, uh, where an old lady becomes uh, like 20. And it was just, it was super fun, tons of heart. I really, really enjoyed it. And it was just, it was funny. It was a comedy. It was a dramedy. But yeah, if you were looking for something a little bit, you know, not out there, but maybe, you know, looking for a foreign film that's kind of neat, definitely check out Miss Granny. Excellent film, Imitation Game. I really liked it. Uh, it was, some parts were a bit too Hollywood for me, and that's why I didn't make my top 10. But honestly, it was really good. Benedict Cumberbatch is, like, amazing in it. His acting is so good. And it was a neat story, and Alexander de Plas's score is amazing. He's one of my favorite composers, so of course I like that, but definitely a worth, definitely worthwhile to see. Another really cute movie, St. Vincent. This was really good. Bill Murray is awesome in it. The little kid, don't know his name, but he was also really cool. Maybe an up-and-coming child actor that we might see more of. But this was also, like, just fantastic. I really enjoyed this. Um, you know, another movie with lots of heart, but it was very good. I really like St. Vincent. Documentary I saw that I thought was really excellent was Citizen Four. Something I never thought I would even go see, but because we were going to see all these movies, I ended up seeing Citizen Four about Edward Snowden. Really informative, really different. Um, it shows a different perspective of what was going on to the, with the whole WikiLeaks thing, and it was actually really interesting. Big Eyes. Big Eyes was really good. It, it was just missing something, but honestly, it's a really cool story. Something I knew nothing about, and I thought, quite honestly, guys, this is one of the best Tim Burton movies that doesn't feel like a Tim Burton movie, but it was really good and totally worth a watch. Christoph Waltz is very, very cliche in it, but he's excellent as well. Foxcatcher. Wow. Go see this just to see St Steve Carell as a crazy maniac who is, it's it, honestly, it's creepy as hell. I was very impressed with Steve Carell's acting. Um, it's very, very, makes you feel uneasy the way his character is. It was really like, Again, not in my top 10, but this is really cool acting from Steve Carell. Total shock, but yeah, worth it just to see for that. Channing Tatum is also really good in it too. Who knew? Honestly, this is one of my faves from last year, but it just didn't make my top 10. But that's Muppets Most Wanted. This movie was awesome. I didn't even see um, the first Muppet movie that they did in 2010, like the, of the reboot. And this one was like the music. I even bought the soundtrack <laughs> and I normally wouldn't do that with say a Muppets movie, but it was such a fantastic musical that I honest, I'm still listening to the music from it and it came out over a year ago. Not the best, but I really did think that Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was a really good movie. I enjoy those movies. Um, so for a summer blockbuster, it probably was my favorite out of all the buns that came out last year and it was very well done. Um, it, you know, it was emotional. I think Rise of the Planet of the Apes is a little better, but Donald of the Planet of the Apes was definitely a really good sequel. What can I say about Grand Budapest Hotel? It was an awesome movie. Not one of my favorites, but I really, really enjoyed it, and honestly, let's, let's, put, let's be honest here, I think I enjoyed it the most because of Alexandre de Plas' phenomenal score. It's, uh, it was my number two score of 2014. I can't say anything else, but it was just pure whimsical delight that it just made me so happy but very interesting movie i really enjoyed it okay i know a lot of people especially people who watch my channel i'm talking about you mike don't like boyhood and i'm not saying it was the best movie but i did enjoy it despite it being two hours and 45 minutes i did enjoy it if you take away the whole 12 years of filming thing it does become more of a generic movie 
but I did think it was actually okay. It was interesting. I thought it portrayed growing up pretty well. I know the kid was kind of douchey sometimes, but I did think it was overall a, a pretty good movie. Definitely not a pick for best picture though, so I'm not saying that. Another really good foreign film, Deux Jours Une Nuit, Two Days One Night, I thought was awesome. Uh, Marion Cotillard was like really good in it. It's a bit of a downer, but it's a really good movie and totally worth the watch because it has a different format and feels a bit different than a lot of movies you see um, and very, very interesting to watch. Another downer, but a really good movie, um, especially, f you know, Julianne Moore's acting and Still Alice was really good and I, it just really showed the disease so well and I was, you know, honestly, a good acting is good acting, even if it's a downer. Another good movie that I think maybe, you know, got snubbed from the Oscars, A Most Violent Year. Really gritty, really awesome, really captured the grossness of the early 80s in New York. Really cool movie. Definitely worth it. Uh, another kind of thrilling kind of edge of your seat, not sure what's going to happen next kind of movie, and I really liked it. Kind of a surprise for me, but I actually thought it was a pretty decent movie, and that's wild. Again, Reese Witherspoon can sometimes be pretty annoying, and it kind of looked like a boring movie, but Wild actually wasn't that bad. I did like it. It was kind of a neat story to see the way she went all, you know, on her journey and definitely worth a watch. An animated movie that I saw last year that I actually thought was pretty cool was The Box Trolls. Really huge surprise. The trailers made me go, bleh. And then I saw it and I went, wow, that was actually pretty cool. It made me think of a movie from my childhood, like sort of like an early 90s kind of movie. And I was like, I was pretty, uh, that was definitely a shock because it was actually a pretty good movie. One of, I'd actually probably say, yeah, the best animated movie that I saw in 2014 was hands down Song of the Sea. Wow, what a really beautiful movie. It's so whimsical. It felt like an amazing video game. This could have been like a, it kind of felt like a Studio Ghibli movie, except it's, except it's Irish. And it, oh man, it was so good. Please go see this movie. I, it, it was just a very, very um, whimsical pure childhood movie that again another movie that made me think of something from my childhood and it wasn't all overdone like some of this crap that's being made today I won't name anything <laughs> but but Song of the Sea was really cool and the animation is just stunning it's beautiful really really cool and yeah definitely go see that or watch it it's really good I saw a really great movie called 71 which is basically about a British soldier who ends up in Northern Ireland who is lost from his squad and it's during the riots that were taking place in, in the 60s and 70s in Ireland. And he's not really sure who to trust or anything. And it was actually really interesting and gave me insight to an issue that I really did not know a lot about. There's only one other movie that I want to talk about, but um, it's a 2013 release. But damn it, it was really good. And it's The Tale of Princess Kaguya. It was awesome, but I don't count it in this really just because it was a 2013 film. However... What an incredibly beautiful movie. Damn it, Japanese animators seriously know how to do, like they know how to tell great stories. And I really recommend you see this, if, even if you don't even like anime at all. But the, the style of animation in it was just gorgeous and the story was really neat. Another very whimsical Japanese movie that is a, based on Japanese folklore. Really, really cool. Go see it. I know it's a 2013 movie, but whatever, this is my video. Who cares? Those are my honorable mentions on movies in 2014. Yes, there are some movies, and there are movies that you're probably wondering why I didn't say, and it's probably because I didn't like them. So, because I did see a lot of movies in 2014, a lot more than what I mentioned right now. And anyway, so if I didn't say something you didn't like, I maybe didn't see it, or I maybe saw it and hated it, but I'm sorry about that. But that are those are all the movies I thought were excellent. I definitely recommend all of them. Go Check them out. They're totally worth your time and, you know, post in the comments about what, you know, you saw and maybe I can comment if I saw it too. But I'll see you guys later. Okay, shh, quick, tell me what to say. No, so you can't slow down like that. Uh. Mm.